Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be understanding mathematically that why does a monopolist operate when the elasticity, the price elasticity of demand is greater than one. So you know that the formula for marginal revenue is stated as this marginal revenue is equal to average revenue, the whole multiplied by one minus the inverse of elasticity. So if we try to simplify this formula, we get AR multiplied by elasticity minus one upon elasticity, which is equal to our MR. Now if elasticity is less than one, right? So in this case, this figure, this figure becomes negative, right? So this whole figure will become negative, implying that your marginal revenue is negative in nature. So when marginal revenue is negative, this also states that your total revenue is falling. So in this case, that is why a monopolist will never operate when elasticity is less than one. He will always operate when elasticity, price elasticity of demand is greater than one. You can also represent this fact using a diagram stating that if your total revenue is like this, right? And then it starts falling. So the marginal revenue being negative will be stated somewhere like this. This is your marginal revenue. So if elasticity of demand, price elasticity of demand is negative, means you your value lies somewhere here, which corresponds to your falling total revenue, right? Another case you need to remember is that when the marginal cost of production is equal to zero, is equal to zero, then the monopolist will operate at a point where price elasticity of demand is equal to one. And in that case, when your marginal cost becomes zero, then a monopolist will become revenue maximizer. The objective of the monopolist will become to maximize the total revenue, right? And when elasticity is equal to one, then marginal revenue is zero, which also implies that your total revenue is maximum. You can understand it from here that when your marginal revenue is equal to average revenue upon AR, sorry, AR multiplied by E minus one upon E, so when elasticity is equal to one, the price elasticity is equal to one, then this figure becomes equal to zero. Anything multiplied with zero will be zero. Therefore, marginal revenue is equal to zero. And when marginal revenue is equal to zero, your total revenue is maximum. So three things you need to remember is that a monopolist will op always operate at a point where price elasticity of demand is greater than one. Second thing, when price elasticity is equal to one, the objective of the monopolist becomes revenue maximizer. And last thing, that a monopolist will never operate will never operate when price elasticity of demand is less than one. So hope you liked it, you understood the concept. If you have any query, feel free to contact us or just leave in your comment or just leave in your query and we'll make a video out of it, right? Okay, take care.